Hey YouTube, it's uh, Dragon Ruler 1131 here again, and I just wanted to say that before I get started with this tutorial and the performance, I just want to say that if you still haven't figured out the Easter egg, it's a lot more simple than it may seem. Um, I realized that the age has become a little, how do I say, difficult, because it's confusing. Well, to clarify, um, it was four years, not two to three, four years. So, if that helps with the contest, I apologize for the miswording in the video, but uh, it was four years, not three to two. So, let's get started. So, here I am. Alright, so... Here's the deck of cards. Now, I take the cards and hold on, sorry. Tell me when to stop. Here? Alright, now I want you to go and take the card you chose. Now, since you have the card, I want you to go ahead, I'm going to look away, and I want you to take a look at the card and make sure to remember it, alright? Alright, you should remember this card, alright? Now, the card stays there, and I won't touch it from here and out. So, I made a prediction before the video of a card. This card was... The Eight of Clovers. Wrong? What do you mean wrong? Can't be wrong. Oh, I know why. Let me fix it. Hold on. There we go. That's more like it. Three of spade is the card. And that... That is the burning card. So what you'll need for this trick, um, as you can see, you're going to need a pre-made, pre pre-set up uh, piece of paper. Now, I went on a hunt. Because in order to do this trick, you're going to need a piece of paper, deck of cards, and this very special pen. It's not too special because you can get it at Walgreens. I went to Walmart. I went to Target. I went to almost everywhere. I went to Target, Walmart, and Walgreens. The only place that had them was Walgreens, and they were for $6, but it came with a pack of two. And um, it's a very simple. You could buy it online. I saw recently on Amazon that they're, they are on sale for $2, free shipping. The pen is called a Pilot Friction Pen. Friction spelled F-R-I-X-I-O-N. And... In case you can see, just in case you, uh, you can see it, this is what the pen looks like. Alright, um, I'll put a link in the description to the Amazon uh, thing if you'd like. These pens, what's special about them is the is their capability. The pen, uh, the ink erases with heat. So... Uh, hence the name friction it has a rubber tip up here and it's plain rubber it's basically the rubber they use on the cars just smoother and when you rub and rub and rub of course if you're putting pressure it's going to create heat the heat evaporates the ink making it disappear now it's a quicker way of doing that a lighter so even though that happens in order for this to work so that way the entire all the ink you just put doesn't evaporate 
you need to take a regular black pen because that I know of these only come in black um take a regular black pen you want to try to keep it around the same uh, thickness and and then you take the card now what you're probably wondering is if you haven't seen my previous videos there's something called the super force it's a you could go check it out on my youtube channel um just go back into my channel look for my videos it should be it should be called the super force i could be wrong though so just try to check out all my force videos it should be in one of them um here uh basically what happens if i show you this and as i show you this i go like this take it out and there's the three of spades now I can keep doing this to you as much as I want. I can keep going ahead and do this all I want. And every time I'll give you the three of spades. Now this is a very simple force but very effective. No matter how much I, I, no matter how many times I do this, I will always give you the three of spades. So it's um it's a very simple force uh just for the, for the video sakes I'll show you um this is just one force you can use there are multiple forces that are out there the classical force you have uh the flip there's so many forces out there um just search up force on YouTube just search up uh magic trick forces or go to disturb reality he has pretty good really good uh, forces and I would have to say if you go to scam school is which is the where this one comes from they also have really good forces well he has a good force there so this force allows me to give the person a card I want that's the first step in order in order for this trick to work so now I'm gonna show you how to do this it's simple enough that anybody can do it if they have the tools. Alright, so what you should have is your regular black pen, your fric your pilot friction pen, a lighter, and a piece of paper. And of course a deck. Now, the lighter comes in later, but for right now, first thing you gotta do is pick a card you wanna make. Now, in order for this trick to even be worth doing, you have to pick a card that you know you'll be able to change. So, cards I've looked through and I've figured out the only real, like, I've thought of certain things. I can't figure out how to change a diamond, a, cl a clover, and a heart into something else. So, I think whatever you use, it's best to use spade because you could change the spade into a clover. Um, another card you could use is nine and six. Well, not nine of clover. These are the three cards that I would say would be most easiest to use the trick on because you could turn all three of these into a, a either a weird looking eight or eight. Now because of that I would recommend I use the three of spade because this is something I've learned uh, I learned. Uh, the three of spade is so much easier you just draw three and as you saw fill in the circles make it look like an eight and then for the clover you just draw the clover and then you make it look like a I mean uh, you draw a spade and make it look like clover so it's nothing it's nothing difficult it's really simple but um, so you kind of get a okay idea you take a, pe a re your regular pen and you make your first you make your outline basically so in this case it's a really bad looking three but something and then of I'm no artist so give me a break spade now that you have that you take your friction pen and you just fill it in you don't you don't really draw anything else special and you want to go over the lines that you just wrote with um, the regular pen so that way in case it's not the same looking ink you can at least have a, a similar look to it especially since you're trying to make a second outline you gotta make it look dark and 
it's just real simple to basically outline it and then for the spade if you come to the tip and just make a pretty okay circle just start outlining that circle go around it and then come down here this is what I do so you can find another way or use this way and with that you come over here the whole idea is to hide the spade so if you could it doesn't matter how crappy of a clover it looks just as long as it looks like a clover so there is our clover for right now uh really messed up eight sorry about that and there's our clover now just as long as it looks like a clover we, you should be fine now if you're drawing trying to do it turn it into a heart we're gonna have issues because it's very difficult so that's the basic easy one two three setup you just come in draw three of heart of spade and then you just fill it in with the other pen and then you should be able to have a lighter I'm working on getting a Zippo lighter so when I'm performing I don't have to worry about it looking unprofessional or whatever like that so it's just I, I personally want a Zippo lighter it, it just to me would seem much more professional and whatnot so you see there it is our lighters lit and there it goes changing the card and voila changed from a th eight of clover to a three of spade that's how the burning card works I uh, personally received this one from an app on my phone called Ooh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Summer says you must do so. Summer says you must do so. It is called uh, Card Tricks Pro. It's a free app on the Apple Store. Um, it's right here. If I can find it real quick. Fire Card. This guy. Really good. I don't know if you can see that too well. Cause maybe, let me try something. Okay, that should be better. You can see it's uh, right here, fire card. It's free, so if you want to learn it from somewhere else, you could try there. That's where I learned it from. Um, but like I said, I'll be putting a link to the Amazon purchase app, purchase link uh, for this pen. Since um, in order for this trick to even work, you need that pen. Or if I, when you think about it, at least some pen. I don't know if this is the only pen out there that uh, erases with friction. Uh, but so far it hasn't let me down, so I'm gonna keep using it. But if you find another pen, well, you you could use it too. It's not mandatory of usage of this pen. It's of course full of choice. It's just experience shows. So. And that is the fire card tutorial. So, back to the contest. Um, it's it's not that big of a deal. I just I don't know. I just felt that uh, it was time to make a contest. People have been asking me how many subscribers do you have? Six ish, I think. And they start to laugh. I personally don't care about subscribers. Not much. It's just if you want to get anywhere in YouTube, you need subscribers. So I just want views, technically, I guess you could say. And in order to get views, you have to have actually have people look at your videos. So, I made this contest. Look at my videos. Find the Easter egg. And I swear there is an Easter egg. It, I will send you the deck of cards. It is no joke. I swear there is an Easter egg. I'll be updating the status because I already have a 
about two friends that figured out the Easter egg, and I have, but they haven't figured out the age yet, or at least I didn't tell them that they figured out the age. I told them they had to guess. So, um, I'll be checking up on YouTube. Send me a message. Send me a few of your videos of you doing magic tricks, and um, that's all I can really say. So yeah. Um, I have to go YouTube. I'll see you later.